Oh, hey, hi, I'm Joey, and I'm a solutions architect at Spacelift. Before Spacelift, I was actually a platform engineer, so I know how hard it is for platform and DevOps teams to enable their developers to self-service infrastructure while maintaining that control. You know, I was a customer of Spacelift before joining, and I actually joined because of how amazing of a product it is. You might be asking, why is Spacelift such a great product? Well, whether you're using Terraform, OpenTofu, Pulumi, CloudFormation, or really any other infrastructure as code tool, Spacelift can combine all your infrastructure pipelines into one workflow. And it doesn't stop with your infrastructure as code tools either. Spacelift can orchestrate your entire tech stack around your IAC as well. From integrating with your version control systems to deploying across multiple cloud providers with policy as code guardrails, Spacelift can do it all. In fact, Spacelift is an easy way to shift infrastructure provisioning left to developers that might not have experience with infrastructure as code with our Blueprints functionality. This is what some of our customers have to say about us. Eric Berg at Brace says, Spacelift is like the final stitching on a football. It neatly ties together all of our infrastructure in a way that makes life really simple for our developers and for me. Joe Hutchinson at Checkout.com says, I've got people in my company who have never used Spacelift, in some cases never used IAC, who are configuring Spacelift in less than a day and actually starting to do deployments with no real handholding. Finally, Alex Siegel at Spot On says, Spacelift has greatly reduced the amount of time we spend dealing with CICD for Terraform. Its ease of use has made our infrastructure far more accessible to the whole team. As I said, Spacelift is just an amazing product. Visit us today at spacelift.io and see us in person at KubeCon North America at booth R18. We'll see you there. Hello from Ireland. I'm Nigel Douglas, Senior Cloud Security Strategist here at Sysdig. I'm looking forward to seeing you at KubeCon North America, my fourth KubeCon. For those of you who aren't familiar with Sysdig, we're a leader in real-time cloud security and a creator of open source Falco, the standard for runtime threat detection and a recent graduate of the CNCF. Based on Falco, we have very deep visibility at runtime, which we use to inform decision-making across the software lifecycle, from hardening posture to detections, investigation, and remediation. For more than 700 customers worldwide, all sizes and industries, you'd be hard pressed to go about your day without using something we secure, from credit card transactions to the car you drive. While the cloud security space is crowded, what sets this dig apart is our commitment to the open source community. And we are a company of builders, our founder was co-creator of Wireshark, and while Falco is one of the most successful cloud projects, we are behind many because we believe what we should be doing is working together, uh, vendors included, to fight the bad guys. With our community first mindset, we have a large threat detection team with an international network of honeypots that we use to uncover and expose cloud and container attacks. Sysdig Threat Research Team then takes that information to strengthen Falco. They have written more than 500 blogs in the last couple of years and another way that the community benefits from our Sysdig team. You, if you're at Salt Lake City, then stop by the Sysdig booth at H10. I'll be there along with members of the threat research team. Uh, so to hope to see you there, I'll be spearheading a, a threat detection survey. So take the time, come over, check out the survey and uh, get a chance to win 20 free Kubernetes certification exams. See you there. Greetings KubeCon attendees. Since 2008, Tintry has improved the way that teams manage and store data. Traditional storage is plagued with challenges. Managing LUNs and volumes causes complexity, poor visibility, and resource contention. To solve these challenges, Tintry created its flagship product, the VM Store platform. VM Store is a 2U appliance that's powered by NVMe, with AI and machine learning baked right into the software layer. Core innovations initially focused on VMware at the virtual machine level, solving performance, visibility, and management challenges. While others are still trying to figure out why their applications are running poorly, our unique approach to serve I.O. on an individual workload level has already solved the problem. VM Store's deep understanding of workloads provides AI-optimized performance with guaranteed quality of service, observability, and built-in data protection, all at the workload level something no other platform can do. Over time, we've added workloads like VDI, SQL Database, and most recently, Kubernetes. And VM Store is hypervisor agnostic, so you can run it on VMware, Hyper-V, Citrix Zen servers, or others. During the expo, we'll be hosting a series of demo sessions 
highlighting exactly how it is that our customers have solved their complex data challenges using Tentry technology. Stop by our awesome 80s themed ski lodge at booth C6 in Hall C. Be sure to pick up some totally excellent swag and enter to win a Tentry branded Nintendo Switch or 80s themed Lego sets. So grab yourself a can of new Coke, crank up your Walkman, and pump up those Reeboks on your way to Tentry Lodge for some truly radical Tentry tech. Yeah, so Victoria Metrics is a company behind open source projects with the same name called Victoria Metrics. And uh, the project itself is, was based on the time series database uh, for storing metrics, like similar to what Prometheus does, but at different scale, at bigger scale, can be horizontally scaled. Uh, and initially, we created it to be uh, to enhance Prometheus. But uh, after some time, when we've seen the interest in the product, the open source project evolved into like a full set of monitoring tools. So now we have a rich ecosystem for monitoring. We have agents for collecting metrics and delivering them, routing metrics, doing all this stuff. We have alerting mechanism. We have anomaly detection. We have our own UIs. We have Kubernetes operator, Helm charts, all this stuff. So basically, if you would like to monitor your applications or Kubernetes or whatever systems you have that expose metrics, Victor Metrics works really, really good at low scale, at huge scale, and it shows it super well uh, in terms of simplicity, how you run it, maintainability, and cost efficiency. Sure. So we try to uh, very carefully uh, to maintain our documentation. You can visit docsvictorometrics.com. Uh, and it is updated, the documentation updated like every day, multiple times. We try to keep it consistent. If you're an engineer and you want to learn fast uh, about Victor metrics, just read the docs and understand how to quick start, uh, that's the best resource. If you're like more visual uh, person and you want to hear about Victor metrics, uh, listen for other people case studies, we have a plenty of videos and talks related to Victor metrics or about Go or about monitoring on the YouTube, just Google Victoria Metrics and, and you will find a bunch. And also if you're interested in the community of Victoria Metrics or what uh, our plans, roadmaps, or talk to uh, maintainers, we have a quarterly meetups happening every three months. They're happening on YouTube. So everyone can join, can ask a question. We have AMA sessions in the end of this, uh, uh, on, in the end of this meetup. So I encourage everyone, if you have any questions, please come and ask them.